Hello everyone, this is Pablo Colsan VA3HDL. In this video I will introduce a brand new Pora extension for Chrome browsers that allows you to radio control and direct login. If you're a Pora hunter, this video is uh, for you. this started. So about 10 days ago I came across this post that I have here in the Parks on the Air Slack site from David, David Kilo 2 Delta Whiskey and he posted that he has a working prototype for a Pora hunting to integrate uh, the Pora.app uh, website with the DX Lab Suite, right? Um, I, I am using uh, from the DX Lab Suite for one of my radios, I am using the radio control part. And then I get in contact with David to, he was looking for uh, alpha testers. I get in contact with David to uh, test uh, this uh, new Chrome um, extension. Recently, David has put uh, up this uh, page on his website where uh, you can find the, um, the plugin in case uh, that you want to test it yourself and, uh, and give it, give it um, a try. So before we jump into the demo and see how everything works, let me give you a very high level overview of the different components and how everything gets interconnected. So in your browser, that it could be um, any Chrome browser, could be Google Chrome, could be the standalone Chrome, or could be MSH, you need to install this Pora Plus e extension uh, that um, David has created. Um, because uh, for security re reasons, the browsers, they cannot interact with the applications in your computer, right? So because of that, David has created this uh, Pora Plus proxy. This uh, Pota Plus uh, proxy, what it does, it, it creates uh, like a mini web server in your computer for the um, it, to receive the information for the extension running in the browser and send that information uh, to the radio control software that you use or and the login software that you use to log the QSO automatically automatically. So this, uh, what it does for you is uh, with the two clicks is uh, point your radio into the station that is activating a park. And once you, you got that QSO and, and, and you hunt that park, you, with one click, you can log that into your logbook. So it's pretty handy um, extension for, for, uh, for us hunters. So what are the options that currently uh, the extension uh, supports for radio control? Um, the first uh, option that uh, David uh, um, added it was for the DX Lab Commander, which is this one here. And I was interested because I've used uh, this um, soft, the radio control software for CAD for my Yesu FT757GX. But uh, um, also, I have an other radio. I have an FT991 Alpha, and for that radio, I use OmniRig. And if you're interested on, uh, on how to set up um, multiple software with multiple radios, I have a video on my channel for that, so you can, uh, you can search for that. I can also put a link on the description of the video below if you're interested on, on um, learning how to set up that. Uh, but um, when uh, I started testing this uh, for David, the, f the only support was for uh, the um, DX Lab Commander software. So I helped him to develop the, um, the OmniRig uh, integration and I provided the, um, that piece of code for him to add to the extension. And uh, for the login software, uh, David created the integration for DX Lab um, Keeper, which is part of the same suite of DX uh, Lab Commander. 
and I uh, provided him the, um, the code necessary to do the uh, log for all men integration for login software because this is the software that I am using for login, which is this one here as, uh, that you can see. So all these entries that you can see here, are, they were all created with the extension. The, all, all, the ext all the entries that you can see here with the common pod, uh, so they were all created with extension. So I, I'm going to do one um, demo live, uh, controlling the radio and adding into the log so you can see how the extension works. So this is, this is how the extension works. You have to, um, uh, of course, first install the, the extension in your browser. And uh, you have to navigate to the pota.app website. The extension is an, is an add-on to the pota.app uh, site, which you can see here. Um, that I have open on this uh, browser. In this browser, I don't have the extension installed because I want, it, uh, I want to show you first how it looks like without the, the, the extension. So let me, um, to use the extension, it works only on the spots page. So we go to the spots page. And here we have, for example, all the spots that are active on the band, uh, uh, on the 17 meters band. So let, let's make it a single side band. So all those are all the, all the phone spots uh, on, in the um, 17 meter band at this moment. So now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch uh, to a browser where, where I have the extension installed just to show you what is adding to uh, this site. So in my Google Chrome browser, which I have installed the, the extension, now I go to the spots and as you can see here, uh, it adds a quite a, a functionality. So first of all, it adds all these buttons with the frequency uh, that the, the activator is operating. And add the, um, the if you have the park or not, like for example, this park, I have it twice, right? This, this is the number two here, but I don't have the other parks that I uh, in, in this list right now. And the other option that it adds is to log directly into your logbook uh, once you make the contact, the uh, QSO. And uh, we, we're gonna test this live, everything. We're gonna test the uh, frequency change and the login. The other neat functionality that we, we see in the, um, when we connect the radio is the scan functionality, okay? So let's do that, let's connect the radio. Okay, now we have the radio set up. You can see it here beside me, um, the, my second camera pointing to the radio. Uh, the other thing I have here is, uh, if you remember at the beginning, I explained that you need to run a small app in the background, which is this one here that runs on, um, on this command window. You, you don't need to have this open or um, in front of you. You can minimize this window when you're not using, but just, I wanted to show you because if you don't run this um, ham apps uh, proxy.exe application in the background, the browser doesn't have anything to connect to, right? So um, this is this this little piece here, this little application, it is, is what is in reality what is connecting the extension to uh, your your omni rig or to your um, or to your logger is that um, this little application here the extension connecting to this one okay so now i explain this again i just i'm gonna put it in the background i'm gonna minimize because we don't need to see it again i'm gonna leave it running uh, behind the the screen and uh, the first thing I want to do is, um, for example, if you see the radio now is 258, it's in this frequency. I want to click this one and you will see the radio switching to that. You can see it switched to 234, right? So I have the, the audio turn, turn off for this part, um, just not, not to interfere. But if we can make a QSO, I want to turn it on. The, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is the scan. So we're going to turn the scan on every five seconds. It's going to uh, start switching the activators and we're going to turn the audio on. And if we hear a strong station, then we're going to stop and try to make a QSO. Let's see if we can do that. Radio 
So the one that is tuning is always the one with the green background. Victor Alpha 3, Hotel Delta Lima. QSL, QSL, Victor Alpha 3, Hotel Delta Lima. Thank you, my friend, my friend for 59. You are 57, 57 into Ontario. All right. Thank you very much. 73. Have a great day. You too, my friend. Thank you so much uh, for the activation. 73. Bye bye. Uh, okay. So um, we got a contact. So how we log this contact? So we simply press the log button in here, and optionally we can. Um, submit the spot so i will do that but, but i can cancel at this point if i want to the the, the call is already logged into my logger and i i wanna um, just re-spot this guy and let's take a look at the at the logger you can see here that is uh, the call properly recorded in my in my lower the only thing uh, which is pending is uh, maybe enter the um, signal report is put everything at 59 i gave this guy 57 so i'm going to change it to 57 uh, but the um, the good thing is uh, it also records properly in the awards tab the the um, the, the pora uh, entry for for lock for all men so that's it. That's everything. Uh, that's everything, uh, folks. I hope I hope uh, you enjoy this uh, video. I hope you like this uh, extension. Extension is a is a great extension to control your radio and to log automatically from the Parks on the Air website. So you don't have to move when you're hunting. You don't have to move from this um, from this page. You can do everything from here. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please do uh, uh, enter them on the section below the video. And uh, thanks for watching. Until the next time.